When I started playing, there was definitely no fem other female drummers uh, in the town that I grew up in. Um, and there was a, like a couple on TV. The one, one that sticks in my mind that I saw was Cindy Blackman. Now there's a few more out there, um, but my kind of message to, to girls that are starting to play is you kind of still have to work a little bit harder than the guys. You can't just be okay. You have to kind of be that extra bit better. That's where I've always strived to be. I never wanted to be the girl drummer that got the job just because she's a girl. Um, I wanted to get the job with everybody having their eyes closed. There was, there was one guy that came up to me right at the beginning. I was at some trade show where there was all these drum companies and there was actually an electric kit. And you queued up and you lined up to have your go on the electric kit. And you put the headphones on and you have a play and then you pass the headphones to the next person. I pass the headphones to the next person and he goes, not bad for a girl. That sparked a big fire in me, I was like, I'm going to show you. I'm not just going to be okay for a girl. I'm going to be better than all the guys as well. I first started playing drums predominantly because there was a, actually a kit in my house. My older brother plays drums. He's kind of 10 years older than me. And uh, one day I just kind of begged him and I said, please, can I just sit at your kit um, and try it out? And immediately when I sat at that kit, I just knew that this is what I'm meant to be. Um, this is what I'm meant to do and it was tunnel vision from there, like nothing else mattered, it was drums, drums, drums. The first time I hit a drum, it just gave me such a buzz, you know? It, it just felt natural and it felt really good. I spoke about my brother and he kind of did have a big influence on me in the sense he told me to really listen to all of the different tones from the hi-hat, from the snare. So it's not just when you hit a drum, it has one sound, it's so many different so sounds to find just from one drum or just one cymbal. And a kind of key record in that was uh, Michael Jackson off the wall. But all the hi-hat patterns and the grooves are just amazing. All the accents, uh, you think, rock with you. Uh... Hear all those accents. So that kind of comes into my playing and I think about that a lot. It's not just about hitting things, but when you discover all the different sounds, that's when your character comes out and that's when you can really bring your personality into playing. Personality on a kit. I suppose uh, larger than life, but uh, with a soft side, with, a, with care and attention to detail. <laughs> I care. <laughs> I'm passionate and that's kind of the fire, um, but I, I also I, I care very deeply about the instrument, so yeah, attention to detail and the subtleties and the, the, just yeah, the beautiful tones that can come out of a drum, that, that's what really sparks me in a day. And then from my brother, um, he had this Toto CD and that just totally lit my mind up. Um, the grooves um, and the, the ghost notes, those notes in between, the, the Rosanna shuffle. On other sides of my playing is kind of a punky side. There was a band that I was in previous that definitely had a more kind of punky element to it. And when I was kind of learning to play, um, a band that sort of influenced me was no doubt. You talk about strong females, there, was, there wasn't necessarily strong females in the drum world to look up to, but um, I definitely kind of looked up to Gwen Stefani. Um, she was holding her own in that, that male dominated world. Into the reggae. Copeland hi hats. I used to go through the radio stations, and if I hadn't heard something, if I was like, oh, what's that? I'd try playing along to it. 
And that's another message to kind of drummers who are starting uh, starting out in their kind of drum journey. Don't put yourself in a, in a pigeonhole, don't box yourself in. Um, take influences from everywhere. I suppose there are little elements of my playing that um, now on this new Pop People album have, have crept in. But I feel like when I, when I joined the band and when I applied for the band, I felt like it was very much me. Their kind of whole catalogue is that big rock sound. They have that big kind of stadium rock sound, but then they also have the softer side um, with kind of grooves, you know, torn to pieces. Um, it's that big sound, but there's real subtle ghost notes in there, and that's, that's my playing. Um, so I, I just suppose they fit me and I fit them, and that's how it kind of came to be. <laughs> well, there were two previous drummers uh, for Pop People. Um, there was Chachi, who was that big kind of character and just played big, fat, loud drums. And then Dylan, the drummer before that, had the ghost notes in there. So I suppose I'm just a blend of the two. <laughs> um, and I mean, maybe that's, maybe that's a big part why this, this album is the self-titled album. Everybody's asking why is fifth album a self-titled? Um, I think the general sense in the band is that they feel like they're making the sound that they've kind of always wanted, they've always been aiming for. As they've helped me, I've helped them kind of blend it all together. I put together this mashup of their songs in GarageBand. <laughs> I sent the tape in and I thought, oh, I probably won't hear anything back, you know. Logistically, an English drummer, that's going to be tricky. I don't know, I'm just little me from England. Um, but I hit send and within 10, 15 minutes, I got a phone call. So, which was awesome. I, I totally didn't expect that. One thing that was key in um, my mashup that kind of sold my playing to them is something that I added to the song. It's not there in the original, so you know when you listen to the song, don't judge me. It's <laughs> um, but I needed to put a little bit of myself into the audition tape. And there's a guitar solo in the middle that's like, wow, wow, wow. And then there's this big gap of nothing, wow, 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 big gap of nothing. So it's like, I'm gonna just fill through that and see what happens. That was definitely something to think about if there's any drummers out there auditioning for a band. Obviously you want to be true to the song, but you still need to put your personality in there as well. Nobody wants to hire a robot. <laughs> be passionate. I think some people have been scared by my passion for my career and my love of drums. Don't let anybody stop you. or. or knock you down um, and this is the, I think this is predominantly going out to female musicians if they're strong women they can be viewed as scary um, and hopefully you can see I'm not a scary person, <laughs> scary person. Um, but my passion for drums can sometimes come across you know as fiery um, so that's my kind of note to girls you can be strong and be passionate and don't let anybody try and squash you.